Okay, so 30 minute game. So I'm hoping, because it's a 30 minute game, the opponent in these first few moves has moved really fast. So I'm hoping that they're the type of player that just gets really annoyed when you take your time over your moves. That's what I'm hoping on. I'm hoping that they make mistakes. They slow down a bit, but I suppose this is all standard stuff for them. Am I losing tempo by taking the pawn? So I'm already a pawn up, aren't I? If it is that right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm already a pawn up. Let's not be greedy. Just push this here because of this pawn. It's obviously going to be pushing down onto my knight, but make space for king for the castling. Okay, so I'm trying not to miss anything, you know. Knight could come out and attack the bishop, but I'm going to castle king safety. And I don't want to get into that rote fashion of doing the narrative and then just making the move, making it feel all fancy and stuff. Could bring the bishop here, leaning onto the knight, x-raying through to the queen. I do like doing this move here, but because he's got the pawn, he'll get a fork, so there's no point in doing that. So let's develop the bishop, x-raying through to the queen, keeping it all simple. Simple and straightforward. Yeah, so he's coming down for the knight anyway. So we could come here, attacking the knight and the bishop see what happens from there so I'm going to swing this through and attack both if the knight takes then we get his queen so I've really not got to do the narrative and then do the move thing got to think before I do the move because it sounds good I'm talking away and just flashing out the moves but I'm not putting the proper calculation in. So the bishops come back and supported. Does that spoil my stuff? Could take the knight, bishop takes, and their, their queen's all over the place. Could keep the tension. Is the, is the tension going to be any good for me? Because he takes, and then our pawn takes. And he's got this lone pawn here. Knight for a knight. Anything else? Could attack the pawn but it's opening up this space i'm actually just going to take the knight bishop for a bishop gets his queen all up in my king's area queen off the back attacking the front pawn head of the snake developing the rook So he's got the cheapy, which is this, and then the queen coming here. I'm going to bring the queen here, because if he's going for the cheapy, then we can bring the queen here and face off his queen. And I'm just trying to block off the cheap stuff. And so he's not going for the cheap stuff just yet, so let's go and attack the queen anyway. Don't want any fancy shenanigans, but he's probably not going to exchange. Oh, well, that's um, it's moving a bit swift there now. So if we do go here, his pawn's going to come and attack us. So then we've got space to come here, but then his pawn attacks us. And um, we can come back here, can we? Let's go here. So the pawn's coming down. Would be nice if it could find somewhere safe up there, but it's not going to be safe. We'll end up getting trapped, I believe. So what's the attack? We could attack here just to open up. Oh, the bishop's attacking. 
doesn't like my knight. So if my pawn takes, then I'm up like this, and he's got this elevated pawn here. So if I bring my bishop here, then I'm defending the knight. I don't think bishops really take. Yeah, okay, so he's come down. So he's got the pawn here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rook. But he's still got the pawn if we push up, so I can always bring my bishop back. Uh, do, 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 do. Get the rooks. No, no, no. It looks like the rooks come in to defend the pawn. Okay, let's defend the pawn. So he's leaning on me a bit now. Okay, so push there, but like I said, his knight can take the pawn here. And then he's on our rook as well. So I believe the bishop is coming back. So we're playing full defense mode here. I won't be surprised if he did his rook here to go across here to get triple on. Suppose we push on to the knight. This bishop might now take the actual knight. So he's got this pawn to play. What? Let's just shove this knight out of the way and see what he's doing. Oh, look at that magic position. Oh, I totally missed it. Not. We'll get a rook. Oh, out of all of that fog comes a nice position and it's not saying it's winning it's just I think from the focused defense work that we did because the opponent was targeting quite strongly the pawn which one do we want to take take the one furthest away or not the one let's take this one because he's wanting to support this so his rook's gonna have to go across there and his bishop's going to take that pawn and he's going to be on the well oh, I don't like the look of this now actually let's push there is he still coming? no he's not still coming there yet am I ever getting out of this little box that I'm in? I don't think I am am I? don't tell me he's going to get that champion oh no oh this doesn't look good actually I push, he pushes down. I'm in a little box. It's constantly got this here. Oh my life. Oh, I can't move that because the knight's just going to come here. In fact, he could come here with his knight. That's what he's waiting for. Oh no. How do we get out of this now? Am I worrying about some... Well, no, I think it's a valid thing. Okay, if we push onto the pawn... I'm going to push onto the pawn. If he pushes past, he pushes past. We need to get out of here somehow. He does push past. Need to make space. Let's attack this knight need to make space to block this rook pawn that's very clever so I'm celebrating but the position's not good oh, it's still coming down with the rook and he's stopping the knight sorry and he's stopping this I'm gonna have to attack the knight I need to get it away he's gonna push down onto the rook oh I've lost the rook he's found a way of attacking the rook oh that's too clever Oh, it's not done it that well. This pawn is still going to be advanced. Oh, this is. I tell you, these players are just way too good. Oh, my gosh. My gosh. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable play. Give me strength and a half. He's going for his. Looks like he's going for a draw. Yeah, he's going for a draw. 
That is unbelievable. Unless, of course, the bishop comes down and puts a check on me or something. Yeah, he's going for a draw. Okay, draw it is. Okay, well, yes, that was very tricky. Um, bit clever from my opponent to actually gain a draw out of that. I'm, I'm questioning them positions just after that. I'm going to do a game review just to see what actually happened. Oh, he jumped up to 73%. I'm on 70%. Interesting times. Um, let's uh, scoot through. Have a little gander at the situation here. Yes, I was playing defense for a big part after this. And saying it's the wrong move should have been what? Does it give me a suggestion? No, I'm on the wrong settings for it. Okay, so then the knight came down. That's saying that's a blunder as well. Saying black's winning, and I obviously made the wrong move. Damn. Uh, you know, I bet you it's this simple pawn push here. Yeah, if Alpha's just it's just nice and steady away. Oh no, it's dropping down a bit, it's dropping down a bit, and it's dropping, it's dropping. <laughs> um, so if they take, then we take, they're still on it. I suppose he then drops down here, attacks the rook. Come here. Yeah, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I keep it as simple as that? I went all arty and panicked about the wrong thing. Hmm... Interesting times. I hate falling for stuff like that. You know, when you do the evaluation afterwards, you look and you go, I think I would have done the bishop move still, even though it's thrown a blunder on there. I didn't see a problem with that. But I was struggling with this move here. I'm not sure. Did I mention this? And I went, oh no, it's not going to be alright. Just go there. Maybe I thought because he's just nice, just going to come here. But then we're attacking the knight. Where does the knight go? The knight's trapped, isn't it? Yeah, the knight's trapped. Why didn't I just do the pawn move? 